All right, guys. In today's video clip, I'm going to show you how I rig up and catch mullet because I've had a lot of my viewers and also subscribers asking me how do you catch potty mullet using a rod and it's very simple it's a very proven method that I've used over the years so here I've got my rod it could be any type of rod but the one I've got is a nine foot Daiwa sandstorm rod which is a bit overkill for what you're getting but I can tell you this um, it catches me a lot of mullet so I'll get this rod ready Tangled up on the other line. Release the drag a bit. Alright. So, what's essential is to first have a stopper on your main line. Right? And then you have a free sliding float with a free sliding sinker to suit the float and the conditions that you're fishing in. Attached is a swivel. Roughly 40 centimetres, make it 30 centimetres or 25 centimetres of fluorocarbon trace, 8 pound. And this is the trick. So these two sliding hooks, they're blackfish hooks size 8s. And then I've got a treble hook. Now the treble is where I'm going to put my bread on. These sliding blackfish hooks, if you can see them, is what's going to be above the bread so when the mullets start to bite these blackfish hooks act as a stinger and they'll hook themselves sometimes if it's a big mullet he'll grab a hold of the treble but these little stinger hooks it could be a blackfish hook it could be any other small hook as long as you got it like that you're definitely going to get yourself decent sized mullet up to a kilo to your really nice decent sized potties where you don't really need um, traps to get them. So, enough of the talking, let's start fishing and I'll prove to you this is going to catch me potty mullet. And we're just going to squeeze that water out, just like so. You want it soft but not too soft, but you don't want it too hard. You've just got to get that right consistency. Right. Got to play around with the bread a bit, get that moisture out as much as you can, but don't make it too hard. Once it's sort of like a, how could I say it to you, like Play-Doh with that consistency, then you can put it on the hook. Now I'm going to get a nice chunk of bread, if you can see this perfectly. Please excuse me if my video editing isn't good, I'm doing it off my phone. So I'll grab the treble like so, get the loaf of bread and just cover that treble hook. That's all that's needed. All right. And you might say, bloody hell man, this is too big for a mullet to get it, but this is what's going to attract the school of mullet in an area that I'm going to be fishing in. And it's these small blackfish hooks that will act as a stinger hook that will hook them up. So let's cast this out and you'll see me catching a nice potty mullet for bait. Oh. Just as you have it, got myself a really nice, decent potty mullet right here. Perfect size for jewfish and kingfish. And that's why I like catching potties on the, with the rod because you tend to get the larger ones that are for your larger fish that you want to catch, such as jewfish. Much more fun than using the trap, I can tell you that. And um, yeah, go out and give it a shot and you'll catch yourselves some nice potties like this. <clears throat> I feel the humidity. I've got no shade where I'm fishing. But for anyone that's watching this video today, mark my words, we're going to go through some torrential rain in the next coming days. And if it's a time to catch your bait, it would be now. If it's a time to catch your big jewies in the estuaries, it would be days leading before that outpour. Perhaps the first day 
when it starts to rain. Fingers crossed we don't go through another flood because the Georges River and all the other estuaries in the region are starting to come back to life. And there's nothing more heartbreaking than having to see our favorite estuaries fall victim, in my opinion, to climate manipulation, which is cloud seeding. Now you guys might think I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I'm educated enough to not believe all the shit they say on the media. So if you wanna go out fishing, get yourself live bait now. If you do have fresh bait, go out now within the next couple of days before that outpour comes. Believe in me on that one. It's just something that I wanted to share with you. So um, if the humidity is affecting me, it's affecting the fish as well. So fingers crossed, we end up nailing a few more mullet and at the end, get that nice, decent dewy to show it to you all. Look how I hook this mullet up on the side. Just comes to show how good this rig is. It's a nice decent one, butterfly for jewies and um, anything else really. We'll strip them up for brim and flat it. Yeah. Now they're jumpy little buggers, but they're not small. They're actually quite big if you can actually see them amongst all those air bubbles, but I've got eight in there and um, they're perfect size for jewfish because they're really big. They'll stay alive for a long time when you use them as live bait, which will emit a lot of vibration, especially if you're night fishing and that's what you rely on, the vibration they kick off when they swim around. And hopefully I'll turn one of these nice mullet into a decent dewy. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm hoping that you've learnt something. And um, yeah, go out there, give it a shot. Catching bait is just as fun as catching the target fish. So um, yeah, happy fishing, stay safe out there, and um, let me know how you go.